recording? <coughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Hi, guys, and welcome to Ask Nikki. This week I'm in a strange land. This might not work out. I'm actually in front of my friend's house. We were just over here filming a video, and I asked her if I could just film Ask Nikki at her house. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to jump into today's question. It says, most of my friends are really true to their word, but one of my friends always seems to flake. I really like hanging out with her when we do get to see each other, but when she flakes, it makes me feel like she doesn't care. What would you do? Okay, so there are some things I feel like I've noticed over the years with people and with friendships. And A, I feel like there's this side of picking your battles. People just have personality traits that I think I think all of us have negative personality traits and I mean I don't know like the severity of this situation it might be something worth bringing up to your friend and being like hey I feel like we make plans and I don't know if you're actually gonna come or not I feel like you know it might be worth bringing up depending on like the severity of this because I'm not really in the situation but it also especially like if you're making things and you're like showing up places and she's not or she's really making a day in your schedule but it sounds to me more like it's just like a feeling thing like it's like she doesn't care or like you're feeling kind of offended or hurt and I think because people you know people just have different personality traits I think sometimes realizing like something about someone like knowing like okay she just cancels on people that's just her thing and knowing that it's not personal um and holding on to that i think that that's a good thing to do like i said i don't know the severity of this i don't know if she's just like seriously just like you're showing up at starbucks and she's just not showing up i think that's worth talking about if this is something that's happening all the time but if she's a really good friend and things are are just kind of like you don't know if she's going to cancel a few days before but you really value this friendship it's kind of like all right well that's her weird quirk because i don't know about you guys but i feel like every friend I have has a weird quirk because every human I know has a weird quirk. And so it's just a matter, I think, of picking your battles and deciding what is actually worth bringing up and discussing and what's worth just going like, you know what? I love them as a friend. They're not really upsetting me. This is just who they are moving on type of thing. So um, that really just depends what's going on. Like, like I said, I mean, I just know the question. I don't know like the depths of the issue. However, Cammy is going to have to enter her password because I am not using my own computer. Uh, <laughs> I'm flashing in my butt. You're not. Sorry, I'm not looking if you are. Okay. You probably nope. are. I probably am. Okay. She likes it, it only anyways. has a minute timer, so just <gasps> keep touching it. You're so responsible with your, like, usage Gosh, of electricity. Energy saver. Yeah, you're such oh, a good okay. energy oh, saver, Cammy. Okay. You're so good. Um, so yeah, that is my answer. Now the Twitter questions say, <laughs> all right, doggy's going wild again. First one says, if you were on a deserted island, what are the three things you would take with you? Not allowed doggies. That's the first one. I hope this isn't going to drive everyone berserk. I would take with me SPF lip balm because if you're on an island, your lips are going to get checked and there's going to be some exposure on your lips. I would probably take SPF, lots of SPF. And I would take a satellite cell phone. That is definitely what I take. Those are pretty good, like, things, huh? I'm not going to get burnt, and I'll have contact with the outside world. So, <laughs> no food. No food. No, the no water, no tea. Uh, Well, what am I going to do? If I bring food, I eat it for a couple days, and then it's like, oh, now I'm back to being starving. So I might as well learn how to live off my surroundings from the get-go. And tea, I'm going to drink through it, and I'm just going to want more tea. So, I think my idea. Well, I guess I'll be out of SPF at a certain point, too, huh? <laughs> That was a really and bad your answer. Your cell phone will be out of battery. No, no, I didn't think this through, guys. What about okay. your husband? He's we, not we a thing. Don't care about Danny. <laughs> yeah, he can stay. He'll be just fine. He'll come find me. Um, okay, and I'm gonna answer a second Twitter question because little Moki said we got so many. The second one said, "Will you ever come to Italy?" Man, I would love to go to Italy. Okay, I really want to travel more one day, but like I pretty much only want to travel nice. And I've said that on the internet, and I think some people might hate me for it. But you guys understand, I just don't really want to like travel on a really, really tight budget because I'm not like the kind to backpack or any of that. And to my defense, most of it is because of my grandma joints. Like I really want to like live it up when I travel. Point being, I will probably go to Italy one day because it just seems amazing. So um, yeah, that is it. Send your messages and your questions to askmikip at gmail.com or use the hashtag. Sorry, I'm looking around because we are literally, there's so much greenery in front of me. 
um, or use the hashtag AskNikkiP, and I will see you all very soon. I hope you're having a good day. If not good, I hope it gets better stat. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Cammy was literally going like this behind the camera, <laughs> and I'll see you later. Adios, amigos.